name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we continue studying decimals and this time with two decimal digits or with hundredths. I have drawn here um, a picture that illustrates a certain number and it is written here as 1 47 hundredths. Here's the one, the one whole. And then I divided this into 100 little parts and colored 47 little parts. So we have 47 hundredths. As a decimal, we write it as 1.47 with two decimal digits now. In other words, two digits after the decimal point. And these arrows here are now pointing to the different place values in the number. This place here is the ones place. We have one, one, okay? And this place is the tenths place, like I showed in the other video. And the last place here is the hundredths place. So here we have ones place, tenths place, and then hundredths place. Now, we might wonder that why, if this is actually four tenths, and seven hundredths, why do we read it as forty-seven hundredths? Why don't we say this number as one, four tenths, and seven hundredths? It's a pretty long way to say it. It's correct mathematically, but we usually read it as one, forty-seven hundredths. And I want to illustrate that here. It is because these four tenths here are actually forty hundredths. One tenth in my picture would be this whole column here. That's one tenth. And so four of these, four tenths, is forty hundredths. So that is why all total four tenths and seven hundredths makes forty seven hundredths. Now, since we can read these two digits after the decimal point as just a number like 47 and then say hundreds, uh, that gives us a means to write decimals as fractions and fractions as decimals. This here is 2 and then we read this as 12 hundreds. So it's 2 and 12 hundreds as a mixed number. As a fraction, there's a shortcut, you can just take this Imagine there's no decimal point and write 212 on top and the denominator has to be 100 because you have two decimal digits here. Another example is 3.06. We will now write it as, as a mixed number 3 and then we have 6 here in the hundredths place. And if you want to write it as a fraction and not mixed number, then you just think of this as a single number without the dot, 306. And the denominator is 100. Lastly, if this is to be written as a decimal, you just write this 118. And think, since 100 is the denominator, we have to have hundredths in the decimal. We have to have two decimal digits, so the point has to go here. Now, of course, you have to teach decimals on the number line, too. And here's my number line from 0 to 1. It's originally divided into 10 parts. These blue marks indicate the 10 parts. And then that gives us tenths. But to get hundredths, we need to take each tenth and divide it into 10 parts more. I did it here and here. But actually, if you want to have a picture like this, where it's divided into 100 parts, you need to do more dividing. Each tenth divided into ten more parts. And uh, let's say I take one of these lines here, maybe the last line here before the 0 0.1. Uh, that would be nine hundredths. Because I could count from here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and each one of those was a hundredth part. Nine hundredths. Now over here, if I go past 0 0.6, which is also 60 hundredths, right here is 60 hundredths, and then I have some more hundredths from here. So, for example, this one here would give me six more hundredths, and it would be 0 0.66, 66 hundredths. 
Lastly, I wanted to talk about why 7.3 or 7 and 3 tenths is the same as 7.30 or 7 and 30 hundredths or the same as 7 and 300 thousandths. Sometimes children are confused with this. We can use a little place value chart to show why this is so. I'll first write 7.3 in the chart. There's seven ones here and three tenths, like that. Now, the value of this number is not going to change if I put zeros in these empty slots here. They are empty anyway. It's like there is a zero already there. This is don't write it normally. So if I put zero, the number stays the same in its value. So that is why 7.30 is the same as 7.3. Or if I put zero here, it still doesn't change its value. I just wrote a zero where there was an empty slot. But the emptiness was like a zero. I could even put a zero here, and it still doesn't change the number. But we normally don't do that. We normally don't write zero, seven, right? We normally just write seven. And uh, sometimes children confuse this because if you have two and you put a zero after it, then it's not the same number, right? But here I was able to put zeros after my number and it, its value did not change. But if you have 2 and 20, it looks like you added a zero after it. But in this place value chart, you have to write 2 tenths and zero here. It is not the same as just adding zeros where those empty slots. It is actually the 2 moved here to the tenths place. 